Welcome to the Markman M2 video series. Please be sure to subscribe. Now with the latest in AI resources, you will experience content created to exceed expectations in every way. No, really, click subscribe and comment. Comments drive the channel. Ladies and gentlemen and bicyclists of all ages, welcome to the Mark Man M2 video series. This is Mark Man. Recently, I was working on my e-bike and was having more difficulties with my braking system. So I came up with a new style of brake, which I thought I would share with you. First, let's cover the more common types of bicycle brakes. Cantilever brakes, caliper brakes, V-brakes, disc brakes, drum brakes, roller brakes. In the days of the dinosaur, there were center pole brakes, like the Schwinn approved 610 brake and the Schwinn LS 2.4 side pull brake. And of course the last but never least coaster brake. A little help there from artificial intelligence covering more common types of bicycle brakes. Let's recap. Most of today's higher end bicycles will have a disc brake. More commonly found on most bicycles is the V-brake and the caliper brake. You will also see some cantilever brakes which are somewhat similar to the old center pole brake. In most common cases, one brake arm is dependent upon the other brake arm, both for pressure and also alignment. This is usually not a problem for higher end bicycles or new bikes where the wheels are true. When bikes are ridden hard or on high torque applications such as e-bikes and motorized bikes, having your rim rub against the brake pad can be a real problem. Mm. After a lot of frustration of adjusting and readjusting the brakes on my e-bike, this was my solution. I purchased a double pull brake lever, similar to the one seen here on Amazon. Now this brake lever pulls two brake cables simultaneously with the same amount of force. The concept here is very simple. I'm going to pull on the two brake arms with two brake cables. It's good to see that some bike parts, like these two brake cables, are still reasonably priced. I was able to fabricate two cable sleeve stops, or two cable jacket stops. However, if you don't want to make your own, you could purchase something similar to this you would need two of them. I decided to make this video because I was very pleased with the results. Let's take a look. In this video segment, we're looking at e-bike revision 3.5, which is a 1200 watt front brushless hub motor. To secure the raw cable to the armature, I simply used a grade 8 quarter inch bolt and nut and clamped the cable tight against the arm. The brake lever I'm using has a spring loaded latch pin which comes in extremely handy if you want to keep the brake in the locked position. At first I'm simply running a functional test, later on I'm going to be doing the stress test. Each brake arm and subsequently the brake pad is independently controllable. What I like here is that there's three ways to adjust. One would be to just simply pull up on the cable and clamp down. The other would be to adjust the screw either pulling up or letting out on the cable. The third way is to adjust the balance giving more to the left or more to the right. Creating content can be a dirty business yet rewarding. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel. By doing so you are helping support creativity and worthwhile content by a small up and coming independent channel.
It does not cost anything to subscribe and you will be blessed with an abundance of gratitude. Thank you.